All right, hey everyone. Uh, I wanted to just hop on here today and, and talk about a few options when it comes to internet connectivity, specifically for live streaming. So if you're trying to live stream games, especially using Mevo cameras and platforms like Game Changer, and you're not sure which internet setup to trust, this video is probably gonna be for you. So I recently tested a few different options side by side, my iPhone hotspot, a dedicated 5G hotspot, and that same hotspot tethered to a travel router. After each test, I ran upload speed checks using Speedify to get real world numbers and not just theoretical specs. And if you've ever had choppy or, or laggy stream, I, I think some of this is going to hit home. So let's start with the iPhone hotspot. It's the most uh, convenient option. Everyone already has one, but convenience doesn't always mean reliability. Now, when I ran Speedify tests on just the iPhone's hotspot, the average upload speed came in at two megabytes per second. And I'll go ahead and include a screenshot here in the video just so you, so you can see what I'm talking about. So obviously those numbers, that's just not enough. Mevo recommends at least three to six megabytes per second for a single camera streaming in 1080p. If you're using multi-cam or broadcasting longer games, you'll likely run into buffering, audio delays, or just complete dropouts altogether. Now look, some folks do get lucky, and if you're one of the few who's had success with your phone's hotspot, that's great. But from what I've tested and seen, that's not the norm. Most people will struggle with reliability using only their phone. So next, I tested a dedicated 5G hotspot. This is the Insego MiFi M2000 5G hotspot. This is with T-Mobile. I used it on its own without anything tethered, and this gave me an average upload speed of about nine megabytes per second. And I'll go ahead and include a screenshot here just so you can see that as well. Now we're talking. This made a big difference. The stream was smoother, fewer hiccups, and overall way more dependable than the iPhone. So after that, I then paired that same hotspot with the GLI Net Slate AX 1800 travel router. This uh, combo created a dedicated private network that all my Mevo gear could connect to with a better range and way more stability. Now this setup gave me the best results, 12 megabytes per second average upload speed. And again, it would spike. There'd be times where we'd go up to 15, 16, even 18 megabytes per second, but on average, it was a little bit over 12 megabytes per second. So streaming with this combo felt rock solid. No drops, no freezing, and it handled multiple cameras and scoreboard overlays without breaking a sweat. So if you're serious about clean live stream, this setup really does the job. So I also just started testing the Starlink Mini. Let's see if you can see it there. Uh, I don't have any final numbers yet, uh, so I'm not uh, ready to give a, a verdict on it, but early impressions have been promising. And once I finish a full round of tests, I'll make a separate video going over how Starlink compares to these other setups in both performance and reliability. So um, you've probably noticed I, I used Speedify for all my testing, and that's not just a speed test tool. It's a powerful app that can combine multiple internet connections, automatically switch between them if one drops, and help you keep your live stream going even if your main source fails. But I'll go into more detail on how Speed Speedify works and how it can save your stream in uh, another upcoming video, so keep an eye out for that too. So just to wrap everything up, uh, here's what I found, iPhone hotspot might work in rare cases but it's usually not enough for a consistent live stream like i'm sure some of you have experienced a uh, dedicated 5g hotspot like the Insego, way more reliable solid step up hotspot paired with a travel router best upload speeds better coverage and the most stable performance overall so if you're trying to level up your streaming setup or troubleshoot constant issues uh, Hopefully this helped clear some things up. I'll be back soon with more on Starlink Mini and Speedify. But in the meantime, drop your questions or your own results in the comments. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, guys.